The Unreal Book is a project in computational creativity that aims at exploring the algorithmic generation of jazz lead sheets. The three main goals of the project are first, music composition by exploring the features and constraints of lead sheet format in the context of algorithmic symbolic composition. Second, algorithmic generation of music notation meant in the broader sense of including all visual elements of the target notation. Third, formalization of jazz techniques as discussed in literature and covering many different approaches. Lead sheets are most used notation in jazz. This format includes a melody in the treble key and chords notated by alphanumeric symbols like the figure on top. Uh, lead sheet is a bare-bone format mediating between composition and improvisation. Printed collection of uh, lead sheets are typically named fake books, the most famous being the real book, originally a pirate handwritten collection. So famous that it has become a staple in jazz community and it has been reprinted in various legal editions. Main features of real book are lead sheet format, almost 500 pieces, heterogeneous selection, handwritten typeface, mimicked in digital jazz fonts. The Unreal Book project tries to match the real book main features, dimension, more than 100 pieces, heterogeneity, seven composition techniques, visual consistency, format, typeface, document organization. An example of a generated lead sheet is here on top. In terms of uh, computer-aided composition system, the software environment for the Unreal Book project can be thought as fluid, that is, made up of modules glued together by two high-level programming languages, Super Collider and Python. Two subsystems are dedicated respectively to composition and notation. The composition one includes modules dedicated to harmony, melody and rhythm, coordinated by the form module. Double arrows implies that the computation flows can be directed in both ways. Automatic notation is notoriously a complex issue. Here, MIDI has been used as an interface between composition and notation. MIDI files are generated, then imported into Muse Score, evaluated by me, edited and then exported in PDF. Then graphic headers including author and title, generated by the text modules, are created by the Showbot Python graphic library. The whole system is assembled, the whole output is assembled in context, a tech-based type system system automatically scripted. The code is available on GitHub out of seven implemented techniques described in the paper. In the following I'm introducing four of them. Each technique is given a name. The first is atonal boppers. Atonal boppers refers both to atonality and bebop. Bebop style results in less legato style, while melodies can be sometimes almost atonal. Here, rhythm is handled by a pattern generator contained in the rhythm modules that can be tuned so to generate blocks of a given metric duration with a certain density. There are no slurs across bars. Here, the rhythm pattern has a two bar duration and is then repeated for the whole A section. This repetition ensures a certain degree of redundancy as the melody is freely atonal. The melody itself uh, exploits a Brownian generator starting from a pitch and a given a certain range in terms of semitones, let's say 6, it generates a new pitch, then the process is reapplied. The Brownian model is interesting as it creates pitch contours. If a new pitch is outside a given overall boundary, substantially the treble staff as it if, as is uh, uh, customary, then it is flipped by one octave so to stay inside. The harmony module then provides automatic harmonization of the melody in three steps. First, as the chord changes at every bar, for each bar all the pitch classes in the melody are collected in a set and staked by thirds. Then, second, the resulting set is matched against a collection of given chords in a normalized form. Each chord is ranked in relation to how many pitches it is able to match in the pitch set and the best one is taken. Finally, in case more chords are available with the same score, one is selected on the base of a given priority ranking. Extraneous note will occur, and this is spicy. The form module randomly chooses among various section structures. Here the section A has a standard 8 bar length. Second example, 
forgetful harmonizer are obtained by reversing some assumption of atonal boppers. Here the rhythm model exploits a time tape model. Time is initially filled with quarter subunits, then some of the events are deleted according to a density parameter, thus creating rest. This process yields to irregular rhythm, rhythmic groups. Here we start from harmony. Chosen chord types, mostly seven chords, are organized in a graph in which each chord type, minor 7 flat 5, is associated with a list of successors based on Rollins and Baha gesology. As chords are taken into account, pitch classes represented as integers are at stake. Each edge is labeled with the number of positive semitones to reach the new plea pitch class root. As an example, plus 5 is the relative subdominant from the chosen starting one. In short, a cyclic graph results that can be traversed randomly and starting from a random vertex, each path representing a chord sequence once a starting pitch class is given. Actual pitches are inserted into the rhythmic pattern by looking at the relative harmony. A set of modes is available and each chord type, let's say minor 7, is associated with a subset of relative modes, let's say minor, fridge and Dorian. A Brownian process picks up a random pitch and selects a mode relative to the actual chord. If the pitch is in the mode, it is taken as is, else it is matched against the nearest one in the mode. If a pitch duration extends across the bar, then the pitch is matched against the intersection of two modes, one for each chord. Third example. Parkerians follow a very different path. Historically, the Charlie Parker Omnibook, a collection of 50 transcription of Parker's solos, has been a crucial source of inspiration for jazz players. The Omnibook has been annotated digitally, thanks Ken de Grenell, and is freely available. Time-stamped melodies and chords can be easily extracted. In Parkerians, first, a data structure has been created in which each chord, in this case retaining the pitch class, is associated to all its chord successors in the whole Parker's corpus. The graph here is a subgraph of the overall cyclic harmonic graph showing, for sake of readability, only the three chord sequences starting with E-flat dominant. A second data structure is then generated that associates for each chord all the melodic fragments that are relative to it in the corpus. These two data structures bind together rhythm, melody and harmony. The four modules selects a, um, a section organization, then for each section a chord sequence is obtained by traversing the harmonic graph. Finally, for each chord in the generated sequence, a melodic fragment is randomly chosen from those relative to the chord in the original Parker corpus. The whole set of composition is thus a Markovian, harmony, harmony driven recombination of Parker's melodic fragments, poured into a new form. Final example. Some chords progressions are widely used in jazz, the most famous is derived from George Gershwin I Got the Rhythm and it is known as Rhythm Changes. A common practice in jazz is to perform chord substitutions, that is, to replace original chords with new ones. This is seen as instrumental to offer new melodic possibilities. In Rhythm Changes initially, a second hidden set of chords is defined for both section A and B, which is an altered, complexified version of the original sequence. These richer A and B harmonies are used to create modes. For each bar, the union of the two chords pitch sets defines a reference mode. In this case, the raw rhythmic and melodic material is extracted from the Jazzomat database that provides annotated jazz solos. Fragments are picked up from the database and matched onto the reference mode for the relative bar. While substituted chords are used to create modes, they are not displayed in the score. In short, harmonic hidden complexification results in a surface harmonic slower and homogeneous rhythm while feeding the melodic construction. So the Unreal book has proven to be an interesting test bench to develop an algorithmic based computer aided composition system for jazz composition within the lead sheet format. It is an open project as it can be expanded in the future, more techniques could be implemented. The music 21 Python library that outputs music XML could be used to completely automate music notation generation. Larger harmonic context could be taken into account. Evaluation of results is indeed missing. At the moment it only depends on the composition side, me. But hopefully, as you can hear, it will be tested by jazz player in the near future. Thanks. <laughs>